Hello, welcome back to the Mage playthrough. I'm kind of hype. Kind of hype. I feel like the audio is quiet. Hold up. Kind of hype for this episode. I don't know. We're not going to fight the Wall of Flesh, but there are some important things that need to be get. There's some important things that need to get done that I need to get done. Uh, do I have... Oh, I do have a mount. And two of those... Uh, well, one important thing is... Hold up. Let's open up Recipe Browser. I don't know what the thing is called, so I'll type in staff for now and we'll look through here. There is something we need to make. Oh, no, I don't have to do this. We can just do it this way. Talk to the guide. Hand him my jungle staff. There you go, my boy Cody. Uh, we gotta make this right here, the blood boil. And possibly light's lament. If we can. But, the blood boil. See, we need... Vessel Buster, High Tide, Jungle's Wrath, and Inferno Staff. We want that. We want to end up making that. So that means we need two weapons here. We need a weapon from the dungeon. Uh, the High Tide drops from Dark Casters. And we need the, the, what is it? The Hell? Inferno Staff, I think it's called? AKA, that drops from the, well, it doesn't drop. You make it from Hellstone. So, we need to get to hell, and we also need to farm from the dungeon. We are also... A whole lot of stuff going on this episode. I planned this episode out. We're going to fight two bosses. Two bosses that we have not fought yet. Because I think in most of my playthroughs, I will be going for every boss if they aren't too, like, terribly out of the way. First boss being the jellyfish. Now, how do we fight the jellyfish? I don't remember. But we're going to pretend like I do. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold up. <laughs> Here we are in the beautiful dungeon. Beautiful and dank dungeon. Just trying to see if we can get this uh, high tide pretty quickly, I hope. I don't want it to be that long. It doesn't seem like that rare of a drop. But let's check out. I do have a gold key on me. I did get... What is this? Valor? What's the name of that yo-yo? So let's see what we get from here. Oh, an aqua scepter. That, that can help. I would like a magic missile that could be interesting. I don't know if I'll actually use it. I'm trying to primarily use, you know, magic, uh, modded magic weapons. But I don't see no problem with using, you know, a vanilla one here or there. We might have to use a vanilla one here or there. Ow. Fuck you. Oh god, I don't like this situation. Hey man, how you doing? Kill this guy! Oh my god, I'm never sure what's killing this man. There we go. Alright. Problem. Problem. Spikes. Spikes are a big problem. Can I? Yeah, there you go. Let's just, uh... Oh shit. What is happening? I don't know what's happening anymore. I, I, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? And just like that, high tide. Fuck off! High tide on deck. I do have the prefix mod in here. I don't know if I said that in the last episode. Or if I even had it in the last episode. But, boom, bada, bing, we got the high tide. Uh, I guess we can leave. I don't really need anything else here. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't know what this is. But he's attacking me. So I have to dispose of this dungeon keeper. What did he drop? Nothing. What? Here we are down in beautiful hell. Okay, it's not that beautiful down here. But, we... Do we have a hell forge? I don't think we do. We need to get a couple things here. A couple things gathered. Primarily hellstone. Really, that's all. And we are good to go. We will be finding the Wall of Flesh hopefully next episode. Unless there's a couple things that I need to clean up and do. Just like in this episode how we're getting ready. We're just cleaning up some little extra things here and there. And it's going to be hopefully an easy fight against the Wall of Flesh. We're playing in normal mode so I have high hopes. Oh shit. I have very high hopes against any boss when I'm playing normal mode. Even the Moon Lord. Uh, as you saw in our summoner. If you watch our summoner playthrough. The original summoner modded playthrough. The original modded playthrough. That that's over. It's nice. It's nice that that ended. But uh, you know, we're moving on to the future now. People were asking me, what are the next series coming out? Oh god, this is gonna be dangerous. What is the next modded series coming out? Now, I I started a flail playthrough, and very soon, some mods are starting to you know getting ready to come out. Some new mods are starting to get ready to come out. Big ones somewhat during the summer towards the end of summer i will not be here 
for mods that come out towards the end of this month. Because I know Tremor comes out with its big update towards the end of uh, June. That's at least what it says on the page. We don't, we're not 100% sure. You never know. But uh, that's what it says. And hopefully, I don't know. I will be leaving for vacation around that time. So we'll see, maybe or not. I definitely won't be able to get through all the new content for that. There's a whole new like mode coming out. Sadly, I really want to. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's all good. Maybe I'll figure out something. We'll see. But for now, we're just going to have to wait for all those mods to come out. There's going to be a lot of good mods coming out. Spirit mod. Uh, I don't know when the Euro Light mod is coming out. There's also a mod that I was going to play at one point, but then... I saw it and I was like, yeah, there's not that much content to do a whole new playthrough on. Like, from the start. It was a mod, fuck. It was a standalone mod. I don't remember the name of it. But that is a work in progress right now for Team Mod Loader. They're working on it. Oh, dude, I found a water walking potion. Hell, I love that. Just the water part. You know, I can walk on the lava, but the water part seems kind of odd. I don't know if it's just me. Get all these Hellforges so I can sell all of them. But yeah. I will be right back. I will meet you guys above ground. Hopefully, we have everything we need. We should have everything we need. We just need Hellstone, really, and Obsidian. But yeah, I'll meet you guys back above ground. Okay, so, let's get right to this. We got some things to be crafting here. What staff are we crafting? Isn't there two? Yeah, there's two molten staffs. I, yeah, this one's from Tremor. And then this one is from Thorium. So, maybe we'll craft both. There's a lot of things I do want to craft, though. But let's start off with this one. Boom bada bing right there. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, where do we put, combine all of them together? That is a real question. Do I even have all of them on me? I got three of them on me. Which one am I missing? The blood boil. Okay. I mean, not blood boil. Vessel buster. V vessel buster. Uh, I need to talk to the guy. I have no idea. I'm guessing demon altar? Demon altar. Okay. Speak about demons. Low key, I've been worshipping some demons myself. And I'll show you guys what I mean. I'll go over here. On the low, it's been like, fuck, how long has it been? Let me look at my phone. It's been like 30, 40 minutes. Went to hell, you know, I got done farming the hellstone, but then I sat there and waited for demons to pile up. And boom, bada bing. There's a weapon that I've been wanting to craft. For the longest time, and I've never been able to craft it. The Burning Fist. We just need the Devil Forge to a house number one, to a meteorite, and ten demon blood. I have an extra two for like fun purposes. I don't know what, what's some fun you can do with demon blood. Drink it. I don't know about that. That doesn't sound like fun. But yeah, let's find a demon altar. Demon to the left. We will. I guess. I, oh, it, oh. Uh, here we are. Can we craft it? Yeah, we can. Even if items are favorited. Boom! Blood boil on deck. Four weapons turned into one. This thing has to be amazing. It's pretty amazing. It's like an upgraded Gorgon staff. That's pretty good. This is going to be actually really good to use against the wall of flesh. Even though some of the other items, you know, that we put into the staff, they might have been good too. For example, the poison one. This, this will definitely help. Now, sadly, it doesn't debuff. Or do poison or like do all the all the things in one but you know it's still pretty good it's still pretty good there's definitely gonna be a lot of value in this weapon it better be i did use a lot of stuff on it all right now let's head back and let's craft what the other one i think excuse me yeah i know it's raining i can i can see it but yeah let's craft the other staff will i have enough how much is this? 16. What was the recipe? I need 12. I don't have enough for that. Sadly. Okay, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Sorry, Tremor. Um, so. What do we need? Just meteorite, right? Meteorite, right, right, right? Uh, meteorite. Where is meteorite? Shit, did I not get a meteor yet? I know there's a meteor that crashed somewhere. I don't think I have one yet. But yeah, on the other note, we are waiting for a Blood Moon, I believe. And once a Blood Moon comes, we can fight the Popcorn Boss. A boss that I really want to fight because I haven't fought one in a while, I'm pretty sure. How long has it been since I fought a Popcorn Boss? I'm not sure. 
But we're waiting for that to come around. Uh, also, might as well since I'm heading all the way to the right to look for the meteor. Because I know one has crashed somewhere. I am going to stop by the ocean and pick up stuff for the jellyfish resonator. So we can take on the jellyfish boss too. He has a couple of items. I think. Hold on. Might as well grab these on here. No reason not to. Excuse me. This... I got a lot of mana. I have a lot of mana because like 90% of my things have arcane on them. Might have to change for the future, but I do like having arcane because that's a lot of casting I can get done. Here we are at the ocean. Okay, so what do we need? Starfish? I, I gotta look up the recipe real fast. Seashell? I think we need a seashell. Let me look. Resonator. Res. Res. You scared me. My jellyfish scared me. Not jellyfish. Slime. Four aquatic bars, starfish, and seashell. Okay, that's not bad at all. Meteor! Okay, let's go ahead and let's make this baby. So let's head back to our beautiful Devil Forge. Sorry if there's a lot of jump cuts this episode. It's just how it's gonna be. That change weapon for the 100th time. Boom. Burning fist. Let's go. I've never used this before. Never ever. That is very interesting. Seems like a like solar flare type of effect. I don't know. Hey, this is a, a pyramid head. Hello, sir. Oh god, a lot of enemies in here. Ooh. This is sweet. This is pretty sweet. Oh, what the? Is this invincible? This is cool. I like this weapon. Very cool. Thorium has not had updates in like the longest time, but. Does not mean that there's not cool features still in it that I haven't discovered because I've never used this before because I was lazy to get all the materials in the past and also because the playthroughs were never really, you know, intended to pick this weapon up along the way. I guess the original summoner playthrough, that was like kind of whoop whoop. Started, I wanted to like do throwing, but throwing was really like eh back in that day. There was no thorium. Urgen wasn't too big on throwing stuff. And I had a couple of throwing things. Uh, there was no Zoklin mod then. But now we've come a long way. And, uh, you know, I just ended up doing a summoner playthrough in the end. Because that seemed nice. That seemed... I never really did a full summoner playthrough in the vanilla game either. So, it just seemed like it fit in nicely. I don't know how good this will be. I'll definitely use it on the next boss. Speak about boss. Yeah, I think it's jellyfish time. Because we're also waiting for a blood moon, which hopefully will happen sometime soon. Okay, so here we are. I made a meteor set, but with a special tremor edition. We're getting a lot of tremor in this episode, more than usual. Look at that. Meteor mask. Increased magical critical strike chance by 9 instead of a percent damage. I think 4% damage is the original meteor armor helmet. I don't remember. But let us get right down to it. I'm going to primarily use my new weapons here, aka really this. But let's fight us a queen jellyfish. You know what's weird? The queen jellyfish doesn't have a doesn't have the little like, crown on, but uh, it does in the little icon. <laughs> hmm. We can use this. This might be like the go-to weapon. We always need a weapon that I wouldn't say doesn't use mana, but we need a backup weapon like all the time. It's something we're gonna need for hard mode, as like any class is what I like to do. You know, that might mess up the rule here and there, like, oh, no, you're not using 100% of that class. I know I, I do that sometimes, but it's only because, you know, you always need a backup. Especially as a mage, I feel like you always need a backup, whether it's, like, a ranged melee weapon or what. Something like that. Uh, because, you know, I don't really like using the, the mana, the mana upgrade thing. Was it the mana in a bottle or some shit like that? Mana pot? Mana pot, there you go. I think it's what it's called, mana flower. Whatever. Because using that, you know, you get that, the sickness debuff, which is kind of, is a really bad debuff to have. Holy hell, that jellyfish was as big as the queen jellyfish. Stop it! You stacking me? <laughs> Keeps on making me go up. Jeez. That, that's some crazy stuff right there. All right. Can I just, can I finish you off, please? Let me uh, finish you off real quick, queen jellyfish. There we go, we did it. Blunderbuss on deck too. Uh, some someone just fell out of that aquatic abomination. That's rude. She's a queen, dude. She's not an abomination. Don't be so mean. We got a blunderbuss. Loud chair noises. Sorry. All right, my boy. I need to buy stuff off of you. 
Maxwa. Eelrod. I know there's a... Okay, hold up. Jellyfish idol. Not think I'm fine. Do not need that. I will buy the eel rod. I guess I'll use the eel rod in this fight. Might as well. And then let me buy this crab claw. Damn. I don't know which one's faster. I think the fossil sugar is faster. But the crab can walk on water. So we'll, we'll see what what we get used to. I don't, I'm not speaking English anymore. Alright. Uh... Let's okay. I was just thinking. Sorry. So it's always cool to see that the queen jellyfish does not have the diver inside of her anymore. It's always a cool feature to see. How does this work? Does this stun? Is that something that this does stun? I don't remember. But we should like act fast while there's no no dudes around. What's the yellow one? What is the yellow one? Petrifying. Ooh. No, that's not the yellow one. I don't know what it said. The yellow one is pretty scary. But let's switch back to this, baby. My boy, helping out. Thank you, Maxwell. Good man, he's helping out here. Oh, we got mana back. We can unleash the fist. You ever get fisted before? I know it's a personal question to ask. You know, it's out of nowhere. None of my business. But I am asking it, so I kind of want it to be my business. But Jellyfish. Queen Jellyfish, you have all these children and stuff like... It's a question that I feel like I can answer myself. Have you ever been fisted? Not saying that children are made from being fisted, alright? All you youngins out here. Uh, let's just, let's just, you know, let's evade the question now, because I think she's getting a little bit she's getting a little bit crazy. I think she knows I know her secret her <laughs> secret fisting. You be doing that? Who you be fisting with? Is there a king jellyfish? Not too many uh kings. Oh dude, I got the trophy. No, I didn't get the jellyfish one though. That sucks. Hey! Oh my, oh my, the time has arrived. This rabbit just shot a bomb at me off camera. Right before I hit record, he shot a bomb at me. But yes, the time has arrived. Unholy shards on deck. Bye bye. We are here. No, we are waiting for this. I guess. I don't know. Will the blood help? Maybe. But yeah, we are here in the blood moon. We want to talk to my boy up here. I got the engineer too. I don't remember getting here. I had to, I had to talk to her, right? That's the only way you get her to, to, to actually move in if you talk to her, if she's bound. Cursed popcorn. I'll buy two of these. Durian's ass. Alright. I don't... Do we fight at night? No, we can summon this guy whenever. So... What arena should I fight him in? What arena do I even have actually available? That's the real question. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Excuse me. I think this is the, like, first one. Mm, surprising. I thought they were like really common with uh, mods, but mm, they're uh, somewhat common. There was a time where they were like literally like every night. I don't remember what series it was. I think it was um, the throwing one. I did block up most of these doors. I don't know how they're breaking in. Damn, you guys actually got in. Huh. Alright, but yeah, let's go to an area where we can fight. Just clearing out the way though. Okay. Let's do this. Can we fight this man? Hopefully we can. I still, I need to get up higher. Let me get up higher. Here we go. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> Going at supersonic speed right here. Let's fight. Oh my god, he fell from the sky. I did not expect that. Do not attack him. Now attack him. Good thing about this popcorn guy. He does kind of... Whoa. He does kind of give you, uh, you know, stuff you can heal off of. So let's, uh, let's play as carefully. Do you guys see this giant phantom? I don't know how hard this guy is. I don't fight this guy too often. But he's seeming pretty hard. Probably want to whip out the stronger weapons here. Oh, my boy trying to hit me with that underground, like, whatever that move is called. I don't know what to call that move. Is that move from Castle Crashers? You do that move, Castle Crashers? This is not a time for you. Fucking <laughs> patchwork. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. There's so many giant enemies. I don't know if you guys are noticing this. There's a whole lot of giant enemy variations walking around. Let's play careful here. Play careful. Play careful. Get out of the way, you giant behemoth. Jeez. Where is he? Yeah, we got him. Alright. That was pretty hard. Because the other, like, 500 enemies attacking me did not help. Who's hitting me? Is there a stealth enemy? There's a stealth enemy, isn't there? Get out of here. The good book. 
That's for the healer class. Hint, hint, that's coming soon. I don't know when I'll upload this for the multiplayer healing class. Alright. We can find another one. Jesus, leave me alone. There's a lot of little dudes attacking me. I don't like this. No offense to little dude. Alright, let us go again. F I keep forgetting drops from this guy. Wait, did we get like a giant one? What the hell? This one's tiny compared to the other one. We had to get a giant one that last right? Holy hell. My boy's so cute and tiny. Look at him. Can you stop? Oh my. Oh my. This is going a lot, a lot worse. He's a lot more mobile, it seems like. I don't really have mana. Bad thing. I don't remember what is my mana button. G? We'll just do it this way then. <laughs> oh god. This dude, he's a, he's a pretty strong guy. I don't... I don't think I can, like, you know, just sit here and tank shots from him. But I will try my best to keep my distance. I don't really want to tank shots from him. This is not what mages do. I guess not early on, at least. Expert mode? Well, not expert mode. Can we tank shots from him when, like, we get healing? I don't know. But he's dead. We did it. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Oh, we didn't get a trophy, though. Kind of wanted a trophy. I might fight another one trying to get the trophy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We got a lot of done. What? We got a lot done. English, come on now. And after we got all this done, we are ready to fight the Wall of Flesh, I believe. So we definitely will be taking them on in the next episode. But if there's any other little things we need to do, we will also do them in that episode. But yeah, I also picked up this Gloom Tome. Which is a pretty decent weapon. A lot of the magic weapons from Tremor, at least the early mode ones. I don't know about the hard mode ones. I haven't really tried too many of them out besides the like tarot cards i think but uh they use a lot of mana both the the burning fist and the gloom tome they use a lot of mana but yeah i put up the uh bloom armor too but i will see you guys in the next episode please and lick my like button if you enjoyed it, 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 it.